is going on guys welcome back to the channel as you can see we have the bass raider here loaded down with some materials the time has come to build a casting deck off the front of this thing um i had some leftover plywood and i had some leftover carpet from uh putting the carpet down in the bottom of it so what better time than to experiment and see if we can't get a casting deck on the front of this thing so I'm gonna take you along for the journey let's see what happens um I don't exactly know exactly how I'm gonna do it so yeah let's just wing it and measure twice cut once and it should turn out pretty good so stick around so tonight we're just doing a little bit of mocking up taking a little bit of measurements seeing what all you know leftover lumber i ha already have and i do have some one fours over there so the idea is i mean i put this one before in here and it fits perfectly in this channel as you can see we're mocking this up and it looks like the one before is going to work great probably cut it off flush with the top of the boat here and it'll give us a frame for the three quarter inch plywood to mount to as well. And I'll probably run some cross beams in the middle for support. Another thing too, I'm setting this up. We will have something on the back. After this board right here is cut to this height, I'll bring another one before on the back and scribe that line. I think we're gonna get after it tomorrow morning. It's getting a little bit late, but I just wanted to at least have some kind of idea of the materials I can use so I can be brainstorming tonight, get some measurements and come back in the morning with a game plan. So I will see you guys right now. So it's the next morning at the shop. We've got the plywood. I already cut the plywood and I sanded it down some. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys didn't want to see me sand for about an hour or so. But uh, this was an old piece of plywood that I already had. With plywood being, you know, about $75 a sheet, I figured I would save the money and just use a piece of plywood that I already had. So three quarter inch treated. It's weathered, that's for sure. It's been sitting under a tree for about a year or so. But it's still pretty flat, not much warps in it. Putting this thing up here, mocking it up. I didn't trim it to flush to the boat yet. I'm thinking about leaving a little bit of an edge mocking that up this is what we have so far my uncle is bringing a router so i can knock this edge off i'm thinking about rounding this as well yeah so this is what we've got i cut this piece of plywood 52 inches and it stopped right about here probably about halfway the next steps will be to pretty much start getting the frame together after i get this plywood situated exactly how i want it all right guys so here it is we got the router smooth edge on the plywood and I came back and sanded it uh, sanded it with the sander to make it even more smooth and blend a little bit better on these corners I took a paint can a spray can uh, cap and uh, jigsaw the corner out that way the corner wouldn't be so sharp the next step is to get all the dust off of it clean it up make it sure it's nice and dry for the glue and then we're going to be putting the carpet on so i took the cardboard and i traced out the front section if you have a bass raider you know what i'm talking about where it kind of curves around the front right here and i also took and traced the side of the boat without the cardboard moving i you know took all of these uh i traced all of these lines so here's the other side and what i'm thinking about there's a flat area off this curve where it starts sloping back and then it curves off hard back towards the boat 
instead of following this curve and then coming back to this line, I took this slope here and I'm gonna run it all the way out. And then I'm gonna bring this line to here. So I'm gonna do away with the curve. I'm not gonna follow the curve. This front uh, storage compartment is just gonna follow this sharp edge up to the front. So let's see how that turns out. All right, guys, as you can see, I have the cardboard cut and I made some marks here on the front of the plywood when I had it up there on the boat that lines up with the front trolling motor mount. That is flush with the trolling motor. This was the edge of the boat when I had the cardboard on it. I actually left an inch overhang on the plywood. That is the template cut out of the front. So this is exactly what the plywood is gonna look like on the front. And then I'm going to <clears throat> mark out a place for the trolling motor relief here. That is the idea of how I want the front of the, ply the casting deck to look. All right, guys, this is what it looks like sanded and cut and routed around the edge. As you can see, we got a little gap here. So that's one thing I have to figure out, but as you can see, it looks really good. I like this song. Uh, it kind of ties this back in the front here instead of going around like this. Kind of like having that straight edge there. Getting closer and closer to getting the carpet on this thing. We did get the frame built. Pretty much just laid some uh, one buys in there and scribe them to the edge here. And uh, pretty straightforward building a box frame. Just get flush with the top of this. That way everything sits flat. I'm pretty happy with how it's coming out so far. Get this gap filled. And then I'm going to cut a door, an access door in the front. That'll be the next steps. So I got the door cut. I got the carpet on. It came out great. I still need to wrap the actual door here, but I, I think the carpet came out really good. I used the Gorilla Spray Adhesive and wrapped it around and stapled it really good on the bottom. So it came out pretty good in my opinion. Now the next step will be to wrap the door, put the hinge on and it'll be done. It'll just be fastened it to the boat. Then I'll be really worried about getting something to eat. <laughs> All right guys, so we got it on the boat and we're just doing some mocking up. I got to fill this gap in underneath the door. I got to go get the door. Thinking about mounting the hinge, putting the door on and seeing exactly how much gap I need to fill here. And then we will go from there. So here's the door on here and it fits really tight because of the carpet. So we have to trim a little bit off the edge. I'm going to do a little bit off each edge here and then a little bit off the back edge. That way it accommodates for the wrapping of the carpet and that way everything fits nice and tight, but there's enough room for the door to open and close because right now it's wedged in there pretty good. So that is the plan with that. So we're going to cut all the way around it and then wrap it with carpet and get it on here. All right, guys. So here it is. It is done for the day. I really like how it came out. Um, got the door done, got the little uh, the spacers here so it can properly shut and be flush um got our screws in got this thing mounted the carpet came out beautiful still have an area right here to slide rods into so that's good and i'm, I'm really happy how it turned out i cannot wait to get this thing on the water uh, i'm gonna give it some time and let this glue really cure uh, but other than that guys man this thing came out gorgeous and i I wasn't really expecting this thing to come out this good. Um, but yeah, I mean, it just came out wonderful. It came out above and beyond my expectations. So let's get this thing on the water. So here we are back on the water with the Bass Raider. And we have the casting deck on here. This thing is friggin' awesome. Super stable, way more room in the front, more storage underneath the deck as well. I mean, it's just all around better i'm super glad that i did it so much more room so much higher off of the water as well i'm more stable and i can see out a little bit better so i know this is going to do great as you can see i got my other rod running up under there and i have a rod cover on it so works out really well ended up running a piece of plywood underneath the carpet and the floor and yeah, let's see if we can catch some fish in this thing. It's super stable. Um, I couldn't be more happy with how it came out. So, yeah, let's see if we can get some fish on this thing. This girl right here, she was on the bank holding her thumb up, so we decided to pick her up. So, 
Here she is. I don't know who she is, but she's now inside the boat with us. So hopefully she can catch a fish or two. If she don't, and if I don't, then we going hungry tonight because there are no groceries in the refrigerator. I got, I got a bite. That's a nice one. Decent. There's a decent one. He was swimming towards me, so I couldn't tell if I, he had it or not. That's a fresh one. He hasn't been caught yet. Tell you what, the jig is really catching these fish by surprise where I haven't been yet because people aren't just, aren't using jigs around here. They're just using top water. This fish hasn't been caught yet. Beautiful fish, probably a two pounder. Whew. Nice one. Yes, he was. I thought he was bigger than what he was. I don't know. These fish out here fight pretty good, though. It's hard to tell if they're a good one or not. Now, water's come up in here, so the fish are probably in here. Well, they shot a hard hit. Got one. That gonna come off. Yeah. Hmm? Tell you what, let's try the old June bug, bandito bug for a little bit. Feels small. Oh, he's not bad. No, he's decent too. Thank you. Hello there. <laughs> nice. Two and a half at least. Beautiful fish. Look at that thing. Beautiful fish there. We absolutely smoked the jig. Number two. Well, that is the first official bass that I've caught on a bandito bug. As hard as that is to believe, I've never actually caught in a bass on a bandito bug. So there we go. Bandito bug, June bug, black and blue jig. Beautiful presentation. Because I'm about to catch one right here. Got one. I just saw him swimming with it and didn't feel him bite it. He's so tiny. Number three. Holy crap. Get him, babe. That's a nice one. Well, <laughs> he barely well, bit. Well, well, guys. <laughs> so she caught a three pounder, and uh, 
I'm going to have to buy another rod. <laughs> <laughs> the Guggen rod is broke. Oops. Oh. Like. Well, we didn't leave empty handed. Look barely, at that slab, dude. He barely bit it, and I saw him, like, leaving, you know? Oh. Don't worry crazy. about this rod. It's junk. I think I got a fish on mine, too. Oh. oh, it came off. It's nice. I kind of saw my bait just swimming away, but I didn't feel a bite, so I just kind of yanked it up. He already had it. Like, yeah. you didn't have to set the hook. I, saw, I looked back, and I saw the rod, and it was just absolutely bent over, and she just started reeling in. But yep. nice one. Had a three-pounder. Biggest one of the day. So we're going to end it off there. The storm is on the way. The casting deck is doing its job beautifully. This thing is so stable. I can't wait to do some more videos with this thing and show you guys. Um, please like, share, and subscribe if you like the video. And uh, hit that notification bell for more Bass Raider footage. Because I am not done doing mods of this thing. See you in the next one. Yeah. <laughs>